All right, y'all, it is 1.51 a.m. November 8th, and I am going into labor. Or, my water just broke. My water just broke. I feel it. Like, it definitely just broke, y'all. My mama is not here yet. I'm so nervous. I'm so, like, I'm sad because I really want my mama to be here. I'm going to call her right now. I knew it was happening. She knew it was happening. She was saying it all night. You going into labor. You going into labor. I called her earlier and my because my chest was hurting and my the top of my stomach was hurting i was like oh my god i feel like i'm gonna throw up but i don't know what's wrong like i don't i don't know like i couldn't eat anything I, i've been only eating crackers all night and drinking water i didn't eat no dinner because i just i just did not feel good at all but y'all i'm in labor oh my gosh i'm gonna have my baby like like freaking soon like oh my god i wish i could like I gotta call y'all back. I mean, I gotta get back on here in a second. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning right now. I haven't started having contractions yet. But I'm in labor, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I mean, I'm not nervous. I'm kind of excited. But... I don't know what to do, y'all. I'm just, y'all, I know y'all can't see, but I'm smiling right here, here. I'm just ready for him to come. But my mom's not here yet. So I'm kind of sad about that. I'm I'm here by myself. The grandma stayed with the kids. So I'm just like, well, their mom's, their dad's mom. My mom's coming on the 12th. Their dad's mom's with the kids. So, y'all, yeah, I'm having a baby. I'm having a baby. I'm having a baby. And I'm supposed to, technically, I'm only 36 weeks. So I'm like, how's my water breaking? Hmm. Somebody don't know when my due date was. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. And I just want to say, knowledge, you are such a blessing to my life. I'm so happy that you're coming into this world. Your brother and sisters cannot wait to meet you. They have been rushing you. I know you heard them. They've been rushing you and rushing you and rushing you for weeks now. Mommy loves you so, so much. Daddy loves you so, so much. And... Just, you're going to have a great little life. You have so many people around you that love you. So many people sending you so many amazing and great gifts and so much love and prayers. And it's just going to be so amazing when we get to see your beautiful face. So you just hold on in there. Just stay strong. We're going to get you out. Don't try to rip my whole body open, please. <laughs> I love you, little boy. Y'all, oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Like, I'm nervous as crap. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanted to do this a different way, but things never go as planned, but that's okay, because God's plan is the only plan that matters, and that's all that I'm concerned about. We've been praying. I called and woke up my auntie this morning so she could pray with me, and my mama prayed. So we good y'all I, I feel my grandmother around me so I'm not even gonna act like I'm nervous but I probably will just hit y'all back up when I get into the room I have like I say I haven't started having contractions yet so I'm just chilling right now and I'm probably just gonna listen to me some music to keep myself calm and some sermons you know just to stay calm and Oh, first, let me tell y'all what Nabir said. So when Nabir woke up, I was like, wake up, wake up, y'all, wake up. Mommy got to go to the doctor that had a baby. And then I was like, y'all got to get up. My water broke. Because we watch water break pranks all the time. So I'm like telling him, like, my water broke. You got to get up. And he's like, huh? And I'm like standing over the toilet trying to get up. And I'm standing up and the water is coming out. So I'm just like, oh, my gosh. He's like, mama, what's wrong? Did you spill your water again? Yeah, I was completely dead with this kid. I'm like, he did not say I spilled my water again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think this might be the nurse. Yes? Okay, one second, y'all. So, y'all, I'm in here. They're about to set me up. So, while I stand up, while I was talking to the lady, and she was, I was telling her I had triplets and stuff, and she was like, girl, I can't believe you have another baby that had triplets. That's crazy. She was, I stood up from out the wheelchair, and she was like, it looks like you got some more triplets in there. You can watch me come out of there, and you having two babies. I'm like, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. 
Don't tell me that. They said one. <laughs> they said one. Let it be one. Because y'all probably have to push out two babies. Oh, y'all don't have enough room in my van for two babies. Like, the, the five babies I got in there now barely fits. <laughs> We have, we're going to have to get a whole new van at this point if I have to have another baby. We just need one, one, just one, Father God. <laughs> but if it's two, that's okay. We just have to do what I do. <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all that because that was just so freaking hilarious to me. And then, oh, the girls, they was having such a field day. They was just like, Mommy, if it has a baby, Mommy, if it has a baby, they all running around the house. Nia Moore, she's running around getting the baby's clothes. She picked out his little outfit he's going to wear. She done brought me like four or five blankets. <laughs> she done brought me two different outfits. It was just so funny. They all running around like crazy. I wish I had done their hair first because their hair is just all over the place right now. But that's okay. That's just me as a mom. Like, I don't like my kids going over and their hair look crazy. All right, y'all, so um, in my room, they gave me a little um, catheter thing with, like, a bulb on the end to try to make me dilate, but they said that since I've been in here, the baby's heart rate is showing signs of distress already, so um, they're going to do, they're going to try to make me have contraction, three contractions in 10 minutes to see how he does, how his heart does in that time frame, but if his heart does not do well under that distress, then they're going to um, go and put me and have a C-section because they don't want to risk his heart rate dropping too low and me trying to have labor, like trying to push him out. So that's kind of sad. I know my baby's okay, but I know they got me on my back and he hates that so much. And he makes me have lots of pain when I'm on my back. So I know I knew it was going to be something risky with the vaginal delivery, but still i wanted to at least try it you know just to see how i do i wanted i was gonna just get an epidural if i did the vaginal delivery too because i'm alone and i don't want to be traumatized with the pain and being by myself so but either way god got us i know we're gonna be okay i just wanted to let you guys know that part and yeah um they actually gave me some medicine when they did the catheter because I was so afraid of the pain. Like, I was already freaking out. The catheter hurt me so bad when I had Navir. And, no, not when I had Navir. When I had the triplets. So, I was just like, no, I'm not feeling that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's, I can't do that. No pain. I don't want to feel no pain right now. But, so I'm a little drowsy off of that. I don't really like the way it made me feel. But, it is what it is. Like, y'all, just pray for us. Hopefully everything just goes well and we can just get this done and over with. It is now like 7 o'clock, almost 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm still here and I have not started having contractions yet. So we're just going to keep everything going. Keep me and my baby in y'all prayers. See you guys in a little while. I'm about to call my family. I know I look a hot mess. Don't judge my eyelash because it's coming off. But I had my baby. I had him. Oh my gosh, y'all! It was so scary. Okay, so let me explain. let me tell y'all what happened. Right after the last clip, they came in because they was telling me like the baby's heart rate kept going down. Like ever since we've been here, it was just dropping more and more and more. And they were like um, trying to shift me to see if that would make him more comfortable and calm him down. And they did it a few times, but it didn't really make a difference for long. So they were going to do a stress test on him. That was going to be, that was going to, well, first they put like this balloon inside me to kind of make my contractions come because my water broke, but I was only still only dilated two centimeters. So they did that and they was like, we're going to do a stress test to try to see how his heart does with you having three contractions in 10 minutes. And so we was, I was waiting to get that done, but like literally within 20 minutes of, you know, me having my own contractions, she came back and she was like, it's just completely unsafe for us to do the stress test because his heart rate is already dropping and it has to, he has to be at like a category one in, uh, in order for them to even do the stress test. And he wasn't, he was, wasn't getting there in that time frame. So um, she was like, we're just going to go ahead and do you, do your C-section. And I was just like, mm, 
So I was like, okay, that's fine. And then they scheduled me for my C-section to be at 11.30. Let, um, like nine, by like nine o'clock, I want to say like 20, 30 minutes later after that, um, she they came back in and one of the other nurses came back in and she was like, your baby's heart rate is dropping. So we're going to try to shift you one more time to try to see how he does. And they did, they shifted me. My eyelashes completely coming off, y'all. And I did not bring no glue. So they shifted me, and it just made his heart rate drop crazy. So she was like, get up on the, off, on your hands and knees. And, and like five, six doctors like come running in there, and they're like, all right, we're going to prep you and make you and set you up to go to OR right now because it's it's time for us to go ahead and do the C-section. He's not um, doing too well with his heart and stuff like that. So they don't want they didn't want to push him to like um be hurt or you know just for his heart to stop because he's been so in distress or whatever because of it's really because of the position they kept putting me in he doesn't like to be on his back he don't like me to be on my back or me to be on my right side and they kept moving me from my right from my left side to my right side and making me lay on my back for too long so he was just completely stressed out by that so I went on in there, and I had him. And y'all, the the doctor was keeping me so calm. And then they played a uh, strong guy by Kurt Franklin for me while I was in there. And I got to talk to my mom and my auntie the entire time. So it was just very like calming. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't afraid. Like I was having small panic attacks, but it was just like just nerve wracking. It wasn't necessarily like I was scared. I was just nerve wracked. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed in my lashes for like falling off like this. Wrong time, kid. <laughs> but it was just, I was just so happy and so excited. It was so beautiful. Like, it just felt like I had so many angels around me at the time. I just loved it so much. But yeah, y'all had the baby. I'm going to show y'all in just a little bit. Um, I just want to come on here and say that I love you guys so, so, so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for all the great videos that are about to come. Because I have him now, November 8th. And, y'all, that means that this channel is about to get a whole lot more lit. So just stay tuned for all of that. And, yeah, without further ado, here is my baby boy.